Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be um, braiding and testing my Rubik's Cubes. Um, I've recently gotten a lot of them. And, um, y'all, with my new iPad, I've literally been using Siri for everything. I just asked Siri to open up camera. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, this is so big. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, got the cough. Hold on. Hold up. Let me put this farther away so that it's not so big. Okay. Damn, that's good. Alright, so this is my first cube here. Um, it is my first cube I had. I caught it from a parade. Now, it... it it's a pretty good cube. I mean, it turns like really good. Like, um, it gets really well. Um, so for turning, uh, we're going to rate three aspects of it. It's turning. Um, oh, what else was I going to do? Um, is does it work how it's supposed to function and um and what do i think of it okay <coughs> um that we're only going to be rating it after two things um so first this one this one's pretty good it's turning fast so i'll give it about nine out of ten um, um, I also really like, um, you know the stickers are like the old things, but I really like actually the stickers because, um, it kind of gets you that grip and texture that I like, but it's my opinion. Um, the best score we can get is 20, and then for how it functions, it functions great as a Rubik's Cube, and I say that it's, um... Just because of some aspects of, like, um, getting stuck a little, um, I'm going to give it just a... Dang, I dropped it. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. What would I give it? I'll give it an 8.5. Why do I keep throwing it? I'm going to end up breaking it. So, um, what is that? 17.5 out of 20. Now, uh, we're actually going order. Well, I got all these wrong. Okay, so we got this. <clears throat> now, this may just look like a dark thing that you can't even solve. Uh, it looks like I did not solve it last time I used it. So we're going to solve it. Um, so this is actually a phantom, and it's heat thermaled. Oh, and I'm also writing it after coolness. This one's plain and basic, so I'm giving it a 5. So that's a 22.5 out of 30. Now this one, since it's a phantom, I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's thermal. Ugh, my hands are too cold right now. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll get this warmed up. But, um, I'll... Um, Speed you guys up while I try and get this warmed up. Alright, well, it's really bad in these circumstances where you have your hands really cold. As you can see, it kind of got it warmed up. Not really. But, um, and we got most of the cube solved, actually. Uh, do we go? Well, I can't see it so dark. No, we don't even have white solved. Um, alright, you want me to solve that for you guys? It's too dark, I'm sorry, I can't. But, since the, this thing is better at turning than my normal, like, it is really good. So, I'll give it, um, 9.7 out of 10. Or not, no, not 9.7. 9 out of 10. <coughs> now, got a 9.5 for coolness. 9 out of 10, that's 18, 
how it functions. It functions not that well as a Rubik's Cube because you have to warm it up first. So I'll give it a 7. So 7 plus 9 plus 9. Uh, 25. <coughs> Alright, next you. This one. It's a 3 by 3. But it's like a ball. It's really good turning. Um, it's really easy to just flick a corner. Like, literally, though. I can just use one. Wait. I can just use my thumb. I thought I could. But you can just twist it really easily. Um, but yeah, this two turns great. It works great as a Rubik's Cube. Give it an 8 out of 10 for Rubik's Cube greatness. And um, what else? I'll give it... It's pretty cool because it's balls. And I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 for the coolness. Uh, what else? For its function, I'll... For its function, I'll give it... Wait, that's what I just did. Um, for how it turns... I'll honestly give it an 8. So an 8 plus a 7 plus a... <coughs> um, what was it? An 8.5? Yeah, so a 7. Does it... No. Uh, I don't even really remember. Sorry, guys, but it would be around, like, 25, I think. Like, maybe 20, I think. Then, got one of my favorite cubes. Gan Pyramix Speed Cube. I actually do know how to solve one of these. I just recently learned. can solve it. My, my high score is like 45 seconds. Here, I'll solve it for you guys. Alright, you gotta get that first. You got that. You gotta get, um, where's the right font? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I'm not really telling you guys what I'm doing. Show what I need to know. This is not a learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube video. Alright, there we go. We got yellow. Uh, twin scenario. Okay. Uh, what is this one? Uh, yep. Yeah. Push, counter, pull, counter, push, counter, pull. Push, counter, pull. Pull, counter, push, counter, pull. So, ooh, that is quick. All right. Mm. Um, I don't know how to solve this one yet. It's again, Pyramix 2x2. Two two. What? Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I forgot to rate this one. We're not really going off of rating anymore. This one is super quick. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how to solve it. Okay, I gotta go to the next one because my dinner's ready. So, fidget spinner Rubik's Cube. Know how to solve it. It's really easy. It's really tad turning, though. Like if you want my, um, subscribe if you want my, one of my Rubik's Cubes. I've been, like, putting my names on everything, like, on every, like, online game. Like, sub to Scott Lede. So, please sub. And, um, bye.